Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another Lawn Tip vid. Alright, so today, it's definitely been raining since the last video like I told you guys, so I'm glad I got that mowing in. Really good idea. But today we're going to be getting onto this Kaikou, because Renault is next week. Um, today is Thursday, we're doing it on Tuesday next week. Might do a little bit over the weekend, but I'll film it all so you guys can see it. But today I want to clean out a couple of things from this Kaikou lawn, because as you can see, there's a big tree root right there so as i mentioned renault season just around the corner which i am excited for so keen um but as i said I need to clean some spots out here and i want to show you guys the reason we do this before like this is a new lawn for me so if you guys have got a new lawn that you moved into there might be a few things that you need to fix up before you get your renovation done so that you can get your cylinder mower or your real mower on there or even just the rotary mower on there without having issues um in the long term and so you can mow it nicely and not be bumping over things so as mentioned, we had that little spot with the tree root there. Um, and now I did find like an old stump just here as well, as you can see. So we'll pull that out. Now we could probably get these all out with a shovel um, or the excavator. It really depends. Um, probably, <laughs> I'm gonna try with the shovel first and we'll go from there. Um, Cause I wanna make it a little bit more re relevant to you guys if you did have this situation. You don't wanna hire an excavator just to get a little root out of the ground. Um, also what I want to do today is, see this tree here, I want to dig a little garden edge around that and put some topsoil in there or something like that, just so we don't have to mow under that tree or use the whippersnipper or landscape blade up underneath that as well. That's something else we want to do. And if you're in the same boat as me and you've got a new lawn that you need to clean out all the weeds um, and odds and ends in it, um, this is the process that I've done leading up to this renovation. It's been spaced out over quite a few videos, but number one, I came through and I sprayed out the clover um, and the broadleaf weeds. And then number two, we scalped it back. The reason I did that was just to get some air down into this. Now I didn't do a hard scalp, scalp just a light scalp because it was winter time and it wasn't growing. Now we did that, the scalp and the, the weed spray, probably like two weeks apart. And then after that, I put fertilizer down. So I put fertilizer down probably three weeks after I've done the clover spray. Now you didn't have to do it all these far, this far apart. You could do them like two or three days apart, of course. Um, but that's just what I chose to do. All right, I'd give yourself at least four to five days, sorry. Um, and then from there, we sprayed that Destiny herbicide to get rid of the ryegrass that's in here. We also put that down to get rid of the onion grass that's in here. And it will get rid of any clover that was left over or anything like that. Um, so that's what we've done. We've basically cleaned this out so it's ready to be scalped, scarified, core aeration and a top dress on top of that as well. if I can get this tree root out. I don't even know. I think it's coming from that, that tree across the road, to be honest. What? Let's just dig around it first. See how big it is. What? Is that it? <laughs> oh, dear. Have a look at this. Got a little beetle in there. I mean, a little bit of larvae in there. So that isn't actually 
black beetle larvae by the look of it. That's just the ones that you get in your garden beds and under tree roots and stuff like that. So that is not going to destroy your lawn. Um, the, since it's that mature too, like they don't look that mature as black beetles until more like December here in Australia. So if you see something like that under some bark or a tree root or something like that, no need to stress. Um, see you mate. Good out of you. Now let's just make sure there's no more this way further back. Which I'm sure there is. That's just where it's crowned, obviously. It's a good thing I did bring the excavator over for that. <laughs> well, let's move on to that tree stump. Tree stump here, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, to be honest. Looks like an old tree. Yeah, it's definitely an old stump. I'm gonna have to give you a worming tablet after this, bro. I keep finding whoever originally installed this put drip line everywhere and bits of poly. Oh no. Woo! <laughs> so as you can see, there's old drip line and old poly all over this property. I found it absolutely everywhere. Whoever did it. Would have been a mammoth job, but half the taps to hook up to now doesn't even, don't even work anyway, so pointless. That was obviously an old tree because that's an old drip line that went to that tree. What do you reckon? Do you like that? So obviously if, I, if you have a hole like this in the ground after pulling out a tree stump or a tree root, put down some top dress in that area, especially if you've got something like Kaikiu or that, it will fill in by itself and repair itself like these runners here that are in the Kaikiu. That's how they spread, is by the runners and they'll shoot them out into bare areas and basically take over them. That's why a lot of people call Kaikiu a weed, because it can get into your garden beds and just absolutely make your garden beds look nasty. Um, but yeah, so this will repair quite easily, especially with a Renault. I want to do a top dress on it. Um, yeah, that's the go. See, if you had a grass that didn't creep sideways like that, like in my old house where I had perennial ryegrass, that's when you'd put some seed down. But if you've got a grass type that is going to creep, please just let it creep instead of putting some ryegrass in there or a different grass type that's going to make it look different because you get very frustrated with it in the long run because it's going to look quite different to the rest of your lawn. Which means steer clear of those Bunnings seed repair kits unless you've actually got the seed that's in those kits. Now another thing that I'm going to mention is we're going to get ready for reno time is, well you've got to be aware of is we might need a little bit of extra soil because um, normally I go for about a, me about a cube per 100 square meters so that's just like 10 mil of sand or soil or top dress whatever you want to put down on top of your lawn but if you've got big dips in here like this this is like like it's up to my knuckles that big dip there and there's probably about five or six of them around this area it could possibly be been where there were some old trees or something like that um, best to make sure you get a little bit extra so I'll probably get about for this size area it's about 250 square meters so I'd get two and a half I'll probably get about three cubes for this whole area might even get four just so I've got some left over anyway I'm um, just leave it up up the front of the house um, but yeah be aware that if you've got big holes I'd cover them in be aware that you're gonna cover your grass and it will take a lot longer to come through kaiku cooch be fine if you cover it like this don't cover buffalo heavily if you're ever gonna top dress buffalo like seriously, do like five mil, so half a meter per 100 square meters. Because it does struggle to come back, especially in shady areas and stuff too. Um, but Kaikou and Kooch will be fine. If you've got something like ryegrass, tall fescue, again, only go 10 mil, don't completely cover it. If you want to completely cover it, you're gonna have to put seed on top, rake it in, and then let this, um, the grass come up from there instead of expecting it to come through a nice, deep, 
hole with heaps of soil on it. This is what I was talking about too with the um, Kai Q coming into your garden beds. Look at this. Coming up all along through here. And I only did this, like pulled these all out about a month ago. So it's coming from there, coming underneath and coming up into this garden bed just here. Just gonna have to get all rid of that again. That is just ridiculous. It's just crazy stuff, man. And the reason it's doing it here and it's so green is because concrete's creating a little bit of heat. It's like a little microclimate. So this stuff is actually out of dormancy right next to the concrete there, or the path, because it's just so warm and the soil temps are a lot warmer here. Right, so last thing, I don't want to whip snipping around this, mowing under there or anything like that. Just not something I want to do, so I'm going to make a little circle just around it, probably only about, what do you reckon? Oh, only about to here somewhere. So that is done, so just a quick little job. Um, it's just got like a natural edge, just with a shovel making an edge there. Um, I will put some mulch or something there, just to stop the um, weeds getting in there and the grass. Oh, the grass will still creep in there no matter what. I'll continue to pick that out. Might even get a little um, garden edge for that as well, just to put an edge around it. Just around the outside. You can get that like stuff from Bunnings, just that plastic stuff, which you can put around just to tidy it up a bit, which will prevent the grass to an extent, but not. Cocky, you're probably not that much. Um, but you get some mulch in there, and that'll be so much better than trying to whip a snip under there or getting the mower under there. So I thought since today is such a nasty rainy day, I'd get the Protea ready to use as a scarifier on the Kaiku at the front. So let's get the scarifier reel. So this is the cartridge for the Protea that I've got just here. So it's the Protea 510 SC. This is a scarifier cartridge. You can tell by how wide apart these blades are on this. If they're a lot thinner together and not quite as long and aggressive looking, uh, you'd be looking at a grooming reel. There's also a verti cutter reels. I mean, I need to go in depth one day about how all, how all that works. But today we're just gonna install this in here. So a quickly time lapse me just installing it. Um, and then we're gonna go try down the Kaiku and just set a height for it. So when it comes to reno day, we're not fluffing around with heights and trying to figure out how it all works. I want to make sure this thing works properly as well before the day comes, because I've never actually tried it before. the depth here for the scarifier so I've wound it down so I've wound this sorry this up front roller um, so that it's letting these scarifying blades actually come down below the roller and get into the soil so the max depth by the look of it is just over an inch so 25 mil we're going down below now it's probably not quite deep enough but we can always wind it down a little bit from there once we get out there. I always like to just do it by feel sort of thing and I can see how much is coming out. If I find there's not enough coming out, 
we'll just wind it down a little bit lower. Um, but when you are scarifying your lawn, you do want to get down below the soil. This is with Kaiku and Cooch, do not do this with Buffalo. You want to get down below the soil just to get the thatch that's down under there. So we'll try it with 25 mil and we'll sort of adjust from there. Um, not hard to do with this front roller, very quick. Um, so let's put it all back together and then let's give it a test. Just one run, even though it's like a bit wet out there. that last chain on that these chains frustrate me all the time um, but I realized I had to move the chain up into this middle point just here to actually get it to work properly anyway battery went flat when I got it on sorry um, which is a bit right um, but yeah I got it on thank goodness for that That is definitely deep enough. Wow, that ripped out so much. So as you can see, ripped out plenty of thatch. And man, I'll tell you what, that is absolutely awesome. So good. Now see, as long as you, when you peel this back, you can see it hasn't really made much of a mess on the actual turf itself. But man, it has pulled some dead material out of there. Like that is awesome. So, so good. I think that was leave it at that height. And just go over this whole thing twice. Pretty impressed with that, honestly. Mate, this is gonna be my scarifying machine from now on for sure. What a beast. Look at this, so you see you can see all this dead material in there. That's what we're trying to get rid of um, because it's just stopping water and oxygen getting down to our root zone. Well, it's not stopping it, it's just slowing it up a little bit. So we wanna get all this stuff out um, and cut into the runners as well so we get some more points for the actual um, more runners to shoot off from and some actual leaf to shoot off from points in the runners as well another good reason to scarify or well, grooming is also used for that as well but the reason we're doing this today is mostly to get the below ground thatch rip it out get some of the above ground stuff as well <laughs> and just smash it this lawn is going to come back so good after this be awesome too because this will have a catcher and it's quite a big catcher so it'll be awesome to flick that into a catcher and just chuck it in the back of the gator chuck it out in the paddock somewhere I could put it somewhere I want some kaiku to actually grow actually because this stuff here if you plant this it will grow believe it or not great way to scab someone else's lawn but this thing is a beast yeah yeah so so good really happy with that actually and it's only just going into the soil but that's all we need we could go over it two or three times just to get a lot more out but anyway we're gonna do a scalp as well but impressed right 
thanks guys so much for watching really appreciate it excited to get this reno done next week so i'll probably start filming and doing this reno over the next couple of days um then tuesday i'm going to give it a core and then from there mate getting close to real mile season it's going to be awesome actually need to order myself some top dress as well <laughs> better get onto that what's today thursday yeah definitely better get onto that so keep an eye out next week for my reno video on this kai q at the front but it's going to be awesome we're set up and we're ready to go oh i almost forgot to say goodbye thanks guys see you